Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to talk about programming using FFmpeg libraries. In earlier video, we discussed about FFmpeg tool. I am going to explain about a C program for grabbing the screen and save it as PPM image file. After explaining about it, I will show its execution. You can download the program, from the link given in description below. I am going to open the file in text editor, to explain about it. In this code, first we need to include the header files of FFmpeg libraries files. That is, AV codec, AV format, SW scale and AV device. Then standard C header files, assert.h, and stdio.h. The save frame function is to save the captured frame to current folder as PPM file. PPM is short for Portable Pixmap Format. Each PPM file uses a text format to store information about a particular image. I am using PPM format because, it is the simplest form of image format. The header information consists of a magical number, to identify, that is P6, followed by width, height, and maximum color value, in ASCII decimal, separated by white space. Then a raster of height rows, in order from top to bottom, each row consists of width pixels, in order from left to right. Each pixel is a triplet of red, green, and blue samples, in that order. Each sample is represented in pure binary by either one or two bytes. A row of an image is horizontal. A column is vertical. The pixels in the image are square and contiguous. In the main function, first is the declaration of variables, Different type of FFmpeg library variables are required for our screen grabbing. Then we have to register all formats, codecs and devices of libav. For that, use the functions, av register all, av codec register all, and av device register all. Then we have to set the values to the AV dictionary struct variable, as the parameters. Here P underscore options is our AV dictionary variable. To set parameters we have to use a V dict set function. This is equal to the minus R option in FFmpeg, to set frame rate, which is demonstrated in previous video of FFmpeg tool. Here, I am setting the frame rate to 25. This line is equal to the minus S option, in FFmpeg, to set screen size. Here, I am setting it to 1280 into 768. This line is equal to the minus F option, in FFmpeg, to set the input format. Here, I am setting it to X11 grab, since I want to grab the screen. Then, we have to open our input file. In my case, it is the output display. So, I am opening the input, by giving the default display name, that is, colon 0.0. .0. And the parameters for grab the screen are passed using the variables set in above lines. After opening the input device, we need to find the stream information, from the device. For that use, av format find stream info function. Then, find the number of valid video streams. Then, assign the video stream codec to, AV codec context pointer. Then, find the decoder of the video stream, using AV codec find decoder function. Then, open the codec using AV codec open to function. Then allocate, default video frame values to the variable, using AV frame alloc function. This variable is not required. So, I am going to comment this line. I created this variable, for testing purpose. If you want to crop the original video, change the width and height to the required values. Here, I am assigning the same width and height. So in effect, the cropping will not happen. To convert video to MPEG format, we need to use MPEG-1 video encoder. For that, find codec using, AV codec find encoder function. Then, use this codec pointer to allocate a vcodec context to context variable C. Then, set the required parameters for the output MPEG video. Here, I am setting the bitrate, width and height. 
the time base is used to set the frame rate to 25. Then, allocate frame to keep final frames after conversion. And allocate memory for buffer. Then assign the buffer to P-frame RGB, using a V-picture fill function. Then, assign context for scale the frame, that is for cropping. The variable's initialization is over. Now we can start grabbing the video frame and begin processing it. I am going to grab only first 5 frames, and skip remaining 250. Then read the input frames till the end of it. If the frame is a valid video frame, then decode it, using, a vcodec, decode video2 function. After we got the video frame, crop it to the required size, using a vpicture crop function. Then, convert the image to RGB format from native, using SWS scale function. Then save the first 5 frames using save frame function, we created above. After the while loop, free the allocated memory using, a vfree function. Then, close the codec and device, that's all. Now I am going to compile this code, for that, open terminal in that directory. Then type, gcc, minus o grab, screen underscore grab dot c, minus i slash usr, slash local, slash include, the path of header files for av libraries, minus lz, minus lm, to link with libz and libm libraries, then minus lav codec, minus lav format, minus lav util, minus lav device to link with, AV libraries. Now, we can see that, the program is compiled. To run this, type, dot slash grab, in terminal. Now, the five image files are created, and the screen is successfully grabbed in these files. Thanks for watching. If you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it to support me.